Acting Premier David Makura has appointed a commission of inquiry to look into taxi violence in the province. The commission will, for the next six months, investigate ongoing killings in the industry. Gauteng government spokesperson Tabo Masebe says the aim of the commission is to stabilize the industry and to look into regulations and the allocation of routes. If you look at the uh, terms of reference for this uh, commission that was uh, set up on Friday last week, uh, they are very clear, they are aimed at stabilizing the industry and uh, um, ending the uh, conflict that is uh, ongoing uh, within the taxi industry. So one of the things that they will have to look into is uh, regulations and allocation of routes, uh, permits and all related matters uh, so that um, the taxi operators can continue to work together without uh, resorting to violence and fighting over the routes or who control what routes and so on. So hopefully all of the role players uh, will come before the commission and talk to the commissioner so that uh, at the end, when the commission makes recommendations, one of the things it will have to look at the, 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 the business model of uh, the minibus uh, taxis uh, and make uh, specific recommendations that will assist us in finding a model that can minimize, if not eliminate, uh, conflict within the industry. For, for reaction on this, I'm joined in studio by President of the South African National Taxi Council, Philip Taibosch. Dr. Philip, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you very much and uh, thank you for having us here. And, uh, I just want to say good afternoon to your listeners, taxi operators, taxi drivers, and the commuters in the taxis. All right. Thank you so much for that. Well, earlier on, as you will have seen, we spoke to uh, Tabo Masebe from provincial government. And one of the things that I asked him was about the commission of inquiry that took place. I think it was in the late 1990s. That report then coming out in the year 2000. From the, 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 taxi, the National Taxi Council, would you say there's anything that came out of that commission that you can point to and say this was beneficial for the taxi industry? Let me indicate, uh, and I'm very glad that you're referring to those commissions. It's not one commission, it's two commissions. Mm -hmm. There was a Dumisan Tsebeze, com, co, uh, Advocate Dumisan Tsebeze's commission, and there was another commission which was, Dumisan Tsebeze was appointed, I think, by uh, the late Minister Dula Umar, may soul rest in peace. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there was another commission which was led by uh, 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 advocate uh, Hampepe, Sisi Hampepe. Uh, those were the commissions which were going to look, the Sisi Hampepe one was going to look into the entire Houten, uh, 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 uh violence issues. And this one was the Nzebeza Commission, I think it was appointed after the uh, rouse which happened in, 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 in Soshanguve. But up to today, we don't know what has happened to those commissions. Yes, around 2006, I think so, 2000, 2006, the reports came from those commissions. And up to today, we don't know what has happened to the ingredients that was uh, sort of uh, brought together by those two commissions. Mm -hmm. Hence, one is doubtful whether there is any appetite of, uh, of seriously dealing yeah. with crime in this country, not only taxi violence, but with crime. You, you don't know whether there is such an appetite. Uh, you can have these commissions, and I want to be upfront to say that we are supporting the commission that has been uh, set together by the Premier of Gauteng, because we are interested in ensuring that violence within the taxi industry is eradicated. The question is whether the, the, the outcomes or the findings of the commissions will be able to be implemented. That's another thing. And uh, that's what makes uh, most of us, and I want South Africa to hear me, most of us in the taxi industry, that's what makes us to believe that we are a law unto ourselves yeah. because these investigations, they are just like uh, 
you know, playing outside the house or playing soccer or being in the stadium. They are not serious. Nobody takes even the government serious with this commission. And but we hope yeah. the commission brought together by the premier. We will, and I'm appealing to the taxi operators, to the taxi drivers, to the commuters, and to the uh, broader public to please give their support to the commission so that we can be able to eradicate lawlessness within the tax industry. And I mean, I hear that you're saying, from what I'm hearing, is that, you know, you've been failed before as the taxi industry. There's been two, as you mentioned, other commissions of inquiry that have been held. Those reports came out. Nothing really was impl implemented from those uh, findings and th that report. So then let's speak about the seriousness of, you know, really tackling the violence in this particular industry. Would you say government has over the years shown that it is serious about the violence and the killings that's been taking place or have they failed the taxi industry? <clears throat> Let me put it this way and I'm going to uh, isolate and I'm going to isolate. When, when you look into the nine provinces, including the two provinces, which I say violence was at high, that is KwaZulu-Natal and the Western Cape. Because of the seriousness of government in those provinces, violence has subsided. There is still sporadic, but they have subsided, which means that the government has been serious. And I want to thank the former premier of KwaZulu-Natal at that particular time, Zuelim Kize, and the MEC of Transport, Mr. Mkunu. They brought the taxi industry together and they wanted to understand why uh, can, can we not work together? And they brought me very special to come and explain the processes of democ uh, democratization within the taxi industry. And they implemented democratization. As I'm talking to you in KwaZulu-Natal, you don't have uh, different taxi uh, councils. You've got one taxi councils, one taxi council which goes every four years to election. If you go to the Western Cape and you look into what the DA government is doing in the Western Cape, you would remember that we, we, we had different organizations in the Western Cape. As I'm talking to you, we have one uh, uh, organization that is the organization which was formed with the assistance of the government of South Africa in 2001, which is Santaco. And when you come to Gauteng, uh, and that's where one is asking yourself whether Gauteng is another pro independent province or independent country within South Africa. Because there you can find out that even politicians are not doing what they're supposed to be doing. And officials are just doing whatever they want to do. Hence, the, 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 the uh, conflicting, the conflict that is taking place in Gauteng. If you look into South Africa, you will find that your problems, even with the issuance of the operating licenses, uh, it's in Gauteng.